it's moving a little. Will it go up? Oh shit, it's going forward! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Alright. It's been a minute since I've done one of these, like, one face-to-face -face boys right here. I'm currently, like, setting up for a job tomorrow. Kind of been a nightmare. I got this solid piece of equipment right here. Didn't see that electrical tape before. Not sure what that's all about. This was sent to me by uh, my buddy Stuka, Drone Archy FPV. He sent me this dildo. I'm gonna get demonetized now for calling this a dildo. Got some new goggles. Uh, I'm gonna just freaking rip this thing. I got three batteries. I'm just gonna fly it like I've stolen it, which I basically have because, of, sorry Stuka. Got some little ND filters right here. Chomping all the gums. Don't fall over, camera. Cause you real high off the ground, you gonna splat. I'm not gonna fly the dildo first. Freak the F out. That's actually perfectly straight. This is not by any means an in-depth review whatsoever. I'm sure there have been plenty of other professional drone people. So if you want special information, I'm not here to give you that. I'm just here to talk about what I think about it. I like how small they are. My nose is smashed right now. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it's on there very good. Oh, okay, there we go, it clicked. I was like, if that's all that holds it on there, that ain't gonna be a good day. <laughs> it's gonna get lost. Where the freak does the SD card plug in? I don't. How do you plug it in? Ah, that's what the electrical tape's for. Oh no. The little thing right here. Ooh. So the drone's initiating. Landing mode. My nose is flat now. So if you ever wanted to flatten, like, to flatten your nose surgery, these are the goggles that'll do it for you. Ow. Breathe in the glory. <gasps> Breathe in the glory. Five minutes of pain. I don't even know, but my nose is so flat, I don't take off in progress. The speed will be had. The speed. That's in normal mode. Let's put it in crazy speedy boy mode. Speedy boy mode. Speedy boy. The speeds. Whoa, didn't like that. Error controller limit was reached. I also can't go very high because apparently I live close to an airport. Whoa, didn't carry enough speed on that one. Thought I had a little more mass, but I did not have the mass. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Full throttle roll, oh, okay. What do we got on the orbit? Will it do a good orbit? Oh, the y'all is real sensitive. All right, we're locked in a little. Honestly, pretty good. Does anybody not believe that this is Yavada? Gotcha, bruh. What is a Nevada capable of? Apparently a lot. Someone's gonna be like, bro, you can't freestyle with Nevada, it's impossible. Oh god, we're chopping trees, bro. Let's get a tree orbit going. We need a little more angle. I'm sure there's a way to give it more angle. Whoa! Don't touch my fig tree, Ibotta. It's getting dark. Oh 
Oh, I got a mosquito on my face. Mosquito on my face. Oh god, it's gonna yell at me because I'm too high. I had to wet wipe the mosquito off my face though. Whoa, it doesn't like when I go zero throttle. It's flying really well and really long for how hard I'm ripping it. I'm like basically full throttle the entire time. This is full throttle. This car is gonna shit its pants. The low light isn't that great, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not terribly bright out, but it's also not terribly dark out. Oh no! All right, well, let's see what happened. We got a little bit of grass smudge. We're good. Sorry, Stuka, I exploded your, uh... oh no. Turn off, my guy. It was just the, the protective special sauce uh, electrical tape. All right, give me Manuel mode. Manuel! Manuel! Forty-six percent battery. And I have been raging with this thing. It does not like that at all. See those little y'all spins. Dude, it likes hucks though. It'll huck over the top of my house real nice like. Let's see if it'll huck again. Ooh. What is an Ibotta capable of? I'll show you the low light's terrible. Not having it. Can't see at all. Oh god, oh god. What the hell? I think the battery is a little upset because I just... I'm basically full throttle everywhere now. <laughs> oh yeah. It's dark up here. I couldn't see. Let's get a solid split S. Just a little. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh shit. Fuck you, what am I doing? Jesus Christ. Alright, so we just blew it with this. Obviously, it's perfectly capable of all the freestyle things. But what I know most people are here for, because I know most people are all about that eggplant emoji. The dildo. Tell me it doesn't look like a dildo. <laughs> Almost lost the gogs in that dildo comedy right there. Full dildo. God, my nose hurts. If you got a big nose, these goggles are not for you, my dude. Turn the vibrator on. Hold down the little button on the side here. Turn the dildo on. Interference. I don't give a shit. Dildo engaged. Should I hold the dildo with two hands? Press and hold the lock button for the takeoff. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I remember it's like this rather than twisty, which is what I thought. There's a tilt button on the side too. What does that do? Oh, you can get more up tilt, huh? If you want to rip. So we'll squeeze a little trigger. Go full full rippage. Give me a little more tilt. Oh no. Full dildo. Oh, we gotta go higher. Oh yeah, bring the dildo around. Dildo's coming around. Alright. Mm-hmm. I'm full throttle. It doesn't go any faster than this. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Bring the dildo through. Fixate on the target. The target is the shed. Sending it in. Lift it up for the tree. Oh, it doesn't go high very easily. Turn around and rip through. Let's go up. Up, up. It doesn't like to go up. Oh, it goes up a little. All right, down. Down, down. Down, oh no, down. Down, 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 my child. Oh yeah, oh yeah, slow it down, go down a little, oh, oh god, that's fast. I don't know if I trust myself to go in the garage, let's see. Yeah, I don't trust it, I'm scared. Go up a little bit, ooh, the GoPro died, so you guys don't get dildo cam anymore. Dild oh god, clipping some grass. Dildo cam, oh, it's not gonna make it, it's not gonna make it. Not gonna make it, it's kinda making it. 
go. Oh, the dildo. This is like legitimately very cool for people that are new. You could just like scroll around and be like, mm, let me check this tree out. Nice. Nice tree. The video quality is really good. Let's see if we can go straight up. Can we go up? Ooh, what's that mean? Oh. What if we want to look down at the tree? Look left. Look right. Look down at the tree. Oh yeah. It'd be cool if you could head track. I feel like that would be the way to go. But maybe I suck and... Yes. So how do you... How do you look down? You can't. There's legs in the way. Dildo. Dude, you could fly for days with the dildo. I've been like full throttle for the last 20 minutes. Not really. For like 5 minutes. And it's at 81%. The dildo has significant power increases as far as, um, as far as like longevity. I mean, that's what you'd expect, right? That's why you bought the dildo to begin with. It was for longevity. You didn't buy it because it was warm. You bought it. You bought it because it could perform for long, extended periods of time. The dildo performed at maximum capacity. Mm -mm. Swinging around. Bring the dildo back through the trees. Let's shoot this gap. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, for somebody that's never flown with a dildo before, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Come on, climb, 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 climb. Barely clearing the top of the building. Oh yeah. What about the trees? Let's slow down and look in the tree. What if you need to go backwards? This is my concern. Is there a backwards button? God damn, my nose hurts. The nose thing is like a substantial problem. Like, wow, I'm gonna have to hold this out now. Just because it hurts my nose so much. Using the dildo. Oh God, go up. Now the optics are all shady. So I have to suffer with my nose. It's getting dark though. This thing doesn't like low light. All right, we'll bring it in. Let's see if I can get behind my head with a dildo. Sneaking it in. Oh no. Sneak it in. Sneaking it in. Just, just a little tap. Just a little tap. So what happens if we go over here now? Alright, I forget how to land. I think you get it kind of low. So you just descend. And then when you get low, you hold the... Make sure the surface area, the uncra... Surface is... There we go. Dude, I flew for... With the dildo? We're at like 65%, so... This thing flies for a long time. To be fair... This is pretty fun. Much advisory for a new person. Get a dildo. Final thoughts on the Avada. I love how small the goggles are, but they hurt my nose. Not big enough. As far as range is concerned, I haven't gone too far, but it seems like it works pretty well. Latency's great, video clarity is amazing. The dildo, I'm a fan. It's definitely something that takes a little bit of getting used to, but I've flown like a battery and a half with it now, and I'm pretty confident with it. Almost say that I could probably do a commercial shoot with the dildo and be comfortable. With this controller, definitely doable. It flies for a long time. I don't know if the video quality is gonna be good enough or the low light is gonna be good enough for like something like commercial, but maybe for like run and gun footage for having it somewhere with you on vacation and just sending it out. Obviously it's small and protected. You don't have to worry about it chopping anybody's face off, which it might chop someone's face off. I did crash per se up here and just flipped upside down and I just turned it off. Didn't do anything to the drone whatsoever. Didn't scratch the lens. It's very well protected. Batteries are probably really expensive and they do last a pretty good amount of time. I like it. I don't think I would personally buy one and I think a lot of people that fly FPV are kind of in the same boat like they're not gonna go buy one but it is an amazing beginner tool. I think a lot of people that are in FPV are like really excited about these goggles and I'm gonna tell you right now that I love the form factor but I just can't stand the nose thing. The angle is very sharp out but it's not deep enough right here. So like your eyes are right there and the bridge of my nose is just like, like pressing and it's actually also pressing from the front. It like cups 
and just presses on my nose like this. And after those two batteries, I flew like two and a half batteries. My nose was like, I was born with my nose like this because my face was pressed against my mother's stomach. So like my nose is used to being smashed sideways. This hurt after about 25, 30 minutes. Well, obviously it can be flown like an FPV drone, but what happens if you break it? What happens if you scratch the lens, other replacement parts? Probably not. And if you go, if you go through DJI to get it repaired, then you might have a long wait time. So yeah, I don't know. Take all those things into consideration when you're spending $1,500. If you're new to the hobby and you're interested in something like this, it might be a good starting point. Definitely a lot of like fail safes for you to try to learn. Uh, if you do end up learning on this initially, um, that might be a hindrance for later if you try to get into FPV, but yeah, I don't know. If you got any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below and I'll try my best. I'm sure there will be a lot of people in here answering questions for you. And you know, maybe someone has some experience that wants to hop in the comment section and be like, yo, I got one, this is what I expected, or this is what I experienced. I don't know. Thank you for watching. Until next time, my guy. Oh, man. Hands off, my dog. Oh, got it. It's moving a little. Will it go up? Oh, shit, it's going forward. What happens if I just go? Oh, okay. So if you're on a boat, you can do that. That was kind of kind of different.